Thank you for clicking this video because that means you wanted to watch it. So with that being said, this is something a little bit different that I'm going to be doing. I have never reviewed a 164 scale raced win NASCAR and I figured this would be a good time to do it. Sorry about the background noise. They just decided to cut their lawn the second I started making this video. So anyways, this is Kyle Larson's Nashville win from 2021, as you can see here. Uh, Kyle Larson, number five, Valvoline, Nashville win, 2021 Camaro ZL1, limited edition. So here it is. The 124 scale version of this car has yet to be released. So here's the 164 scale uh, raced version. So it's pretty cool. And I, like I said, I don't have too many 164 scale raced version cars. So uh, this is going to be pretty cool to review. So here's the package real quick. This is the action uh, racing uh, Lionel ones that they sell on their website. Um, you can get these on eBay, of course, too. Uh, there's a bunch of different sellers out there, but uh, you can pre-order these off of Lionel's website or Circle B Diecast. They get the 164 scales in, too. So uh, let's open this thing up and take a look at the number five Nashville win. And this was NASCAR's first time racing at Nashville in years. Um, so... Here it is, and of course Kyle Larson won it. He was the best driver of 2021 and obviously won the Cup Series Championship. So um, here it is, the number five Valvoline Chevrolet. Now there's two versions of this Valvoline car that came out. There's a blue one, the Instant Oil, which I also have is right here. As you can see, it's the blue version. He didn't win a race in this one, but uh, this is the other Valvoline one, but he did win twice in this scheme, once at Nashville, and then I believe Bristol was the other one he won on. So um, let's take a look at this car. Here it is, number five. Actually, you know what? I might be able to zoom in on it. Let's take a look. We'll start off on the side here, and you can see the race damage on it, the dust and the uh, dirt buildup on the bottom fender right here. Looks really cool. I like it. I can't believe they even uh, make race uh, win 164 scale cars. That makes it really, really cool. But they're not as detailed as the 124s because the 124s obviously have like shredded up tires if they do a burnout and uh, missing parts of it. Like if a, he did a burnout and this back corner got torn up from it, Lionel sometimes will cut it off if they do a good job of it. So um, you, you know, obviously, but uh, this is what they do. They just basically do the best they can with the 164s. You should see Austin Cindric's, uh, uh Phoenix raced uh, 164. Its whole right panel here is torn up, but the 164 has it just blacked out just with decals. It's, it's weird, but <laughs> that's how it is. All right, so anyways, on the corner here, we got Goodyear, Metro Tech, Tarleton and Son, um, NASCAR Cup Series. Not too sure what that logo says right there. Wins record. Oh, that's the Hendrick Motorsports uh, 269 win record. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had that on that. Number five, the original Motor Oil, Kyle Larson. This was his third win of the season, or fourth. Pretty sure it's his fourth win, I'm not too sure. Nah, this is his third, because Vegas, um, Charlotte, Nashville, right? I think it was in that order, I could be wrong. But you can see the window there, the detail, nothing really too big there. You can see, like, some uh, lines coming out here with the gas tank is from when the fuel fuel spilled out of it so that's that on the back here drive for five zl1 camaro one le not too bad looks pretty good not really banged up or anything on the other side pretty clean nothing super crazy but uh yeah looks real good and then here's the front of it you can see we got some grilled uh tape on but uh nothing really big there just some dirt and then there's the hood a couple uh dirt and dust on there, but nothing big. And then the roof, the five with the Valvoline can pouring the line going down to the deck lid. So yeah, there's that. All right, whoa, almost dropped the whole camera and broke everything. So that is Kyle Larson's Nashville win, uh, Valvoline 164. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will have more if you guys are oh so interested. And um, yeah, that's about it. What Valvoline scheme do you like better, the blue or the red? I like the red, but the blue, I don't know, man. I think the blue one's better. So there's that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next diecast review, I guess. Who knows what it'll be.